Hi, everyone. I'm here with Nicole, the gut girl. As always, thanks for being here, Nicole. Thank you for having me. We're going to talk about plastic. We've talked about plastic before. And I don't know. It just seems like it's so hard. It's so hard. You know, we were laughing and joking with each other before we turned this on. Hey, if you had to eat this or this, which would you pick if you had to? <laughs> There's some hard ones there, you know. But your water is so important. And uh, you all know that I'm on TRT and um, it's, um, you know, it's, it blows my mind that the average testosterone for a 20 year old, people in their 20s, men in their 20s is like 420. Are you kidding me? It's nothing. It should be a thousand. Yeah. And actually I'm seeing that lower nowadays. I'm seeing the 200s yes. all the time. Yeah. You got, you got young men in their late twenties, early thirties on TRT yeah. already. You think that has anything to do with plastic? Oh, I like you, you're taking the thoughts right out of my head. Like literally you guys, I guess this is the different take on plastics that I wanted to really hit home with because you know, everybody is drinking out of water bottles. Everyone, everyone I see. Not me. Not me. This is what I drink out of. <laughs> um, but you guys, this heats up. Plastic seep in. And trust me, how did this get to you? And how did this get to the store? It heated up in a truck all the way to the store. Then it cooled down, heated up again in your car. All of that kind of stuff. You're getting tenfolds of... of of plastics in your drinks. The other thing is, is when you go get coffee, how many people are getting these plastic cups? The inside of this is a lining of plastic. And that's exactly what you're taking the big gulp of is polythionine in your, and it's a petroleum based product. You're just drinking all of that, which what is that doing to us other than putting metals and that kind of stuff in our bodies, but it's driving down your hormones. And it's driving up your hormones. So one of the things that it's doing is that it's driving up your estrogens. So I'm seeing a ton of women with high estrogen. I'm seeing a ton of men with low testosterone, high estrogen, because what does it do? It drives up your estrogens. It drives up your, uh, your fat cells. And what does estrogen love? It loves to deposit right in your estrogen cells. So people with weight loss resistance are still going through the drive-thru and they're drinking out of plastic cups, but they're cutting down on their sugar and they're wondering why that's happening. It's because you're getting a huge gulp for the, how long do you keep a plastic uh, coffee in your cup? At least five minutes. You're getting all the plastic inside of that while you're drinking that coffee. Yeah. And it's like, you know, what do you do? You know, I, I don't go to the drive through coffee places anymore. I, I haven't gone through there in years, but it's because of the understanding of the water is so important. Yes. And we were talking about hydrogen water and, you know, what kind of water to drink. And, you know, we always get spring water, try to get it in a hard plastic, but get it out of there as soon as possible. But that's only when we travel. Right. You know, right. so, but what do you do? I mean, it's, it's really impossible to be perfect. And it is, but you can try to be better. You can, you know, if you're going to, if you're going, this goes back to our question. If you're going to go through a drive through get a cold coffee. It doesn't mean that you're not escaping from the mold in the coffee that they're serving, but at least you're not getting mold and plastics heat it up, that kind of thing. So there's ways around this. If you have to get a bottled water and put it into your, your, um, you know, your aluminum cup, then, um, get it out of here as soon as possible. Put it into that cup as soon as possible. Don't let it heat up in your garage, put it into big con containers in your fridge so that you can take from there. If you have to go get just a inexpensive Brita filter, go do it. Get a Berkey, filter your water through there. There's all sorts of ways to do this. Check your wells for what kind of um, metals are in your well so that you know what you're dealing with when you're drinking the water from it. Right, and they look, 
they treat the water so that it won't kill you, right? You know, that's what happens. They treat the water. So you got fluoride and bad stuff in the water just so that you can drink it without keeling over right there, I guess. Right. Right. And, but what are they treating it with? Is it any better? Right. So (laughs) we have, my wife, we have two filters, puts it through one filter. It goes through that one, puts it in are both Berkey's with multiple different, um, filters in each one. Then she puts it in the next Berkey and then we take it out of there and put it into our little hydrogen machine maker. Right. So the water's pretty impressive. And <laughs> that's why I'm 132 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I'm, I'm going to go for your system now because I want to be 132. <laughs> yeah. You want to hear my protocol? Yeah. So uh, the water is just so important. I, I was just listening to another YouTube video and they were talking about, um, how important water is and the ones that are not just in the water, but your body makes hydrogen, makes it from fatty acids. Right. Um, Those are the people that are living past a hundred. Right. That have the high and good levels of hydrogen in their body. You know, you brought up a good point. One of the things that I have been noticing lately and that people have been telling me is all these like um, documentaries coming out about living to a hundred and past a hundred and all that kind of stuff. And I've watched a few of those and how they're talking about their food and their exercise, but not one of those documentaries that I've watched has talked about the water they drink. And that's interesting to me because it is such a pivotal piece of what you're doing and what you're putting in the body because we're all, all of us in the fitness world are touting water and to drink more water but where is that source coming from and what are you doing to filter it? So true. So I want you all to know what Nicole does is she, she is, and she got into this because of having her own issues. So hormones and gut, that's her specialty. And you know what? Um, You're working with my wife and that's not easy, you know, (laughs) you're trying to figure this out, you know, and sometimes it's really hard, but that's what Nicole does. Um, help you figure out if you have gut problems and hormone problems. She knows how to read blood work and everything. And so for your program, everyone should know this now, you'll give them $100 off if they mention this video. Yes, absolutely. Um, So off your program. And if you guys are having a hard time losing weight, you're not eating anything, which is kind of what happened to you. Mm -hmm. You know, we talk about the doctors and so on that are obnoxious telling you, well, you're eating too much. I'm not eating anything. Yeah. Uh, I look at food and I gain weight. There is a problem. So um, how do they get a hold of you? If they want to follow you on social media or they want to email you and find out more about what you do, how do they do that? You can reach me at email, the gut girl one at gmail.com. And I'm on Facebook at the gut, the gut girl and Instagram is the gut girl NV. And aren't you on TikTok too? I am on TikTok and I'm on TikTok a lot. So the gut girl envy. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for being with us, Nicole. Thank you for having me.